Hello, Dr. Maya Dunne here. I'm uh, this video. I'm planning to show you the um, elect uh, the atom and how the electrons arrange around the nucleus and also some trends in the periodic table. So first, we uh, in enter the chapter with uh, uh, the wave, electromagnetic wave. You know, um, electromagnetic waves has um, electron uh, so it has some properties important properties of the wave is it has a wavelength and the frequency the uh, the you see there are two waves the red color wave has very big higher fre uh, wavelength but low frequency if you look at the blue color wave the blue color wave the bottom wave has low smaller wavelength but very high frequency so the wavelength is um, showing in lambda frequency. The sign is mu. Um, always the frequency and the wavelength is inversely proportional. Higher the wavelength, lower the frequency. Higher the frequency, lower the wavelength. And also the wavelength increases, frequency decreases, and energy decreases. As frequency increases, energy increases. So if you take these two waves, this blue color wave have, has higher frequency and then high energy. And then we are moving to the electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic spectrum lists most of the uh, waves you can find around us. And you see it shows the wavelength on the top and the frequency. You see towards the right side the wavelength is high highest very high wavelength is higher and then in the left side wavelength is smaller but the highest frequencies you see that it started in electromagnetic spectrum start with the radio waves microwaves infrared radiation ultraviolet light x-ray and gamma rays you see uh, the radio waves have Longer wavelengths but lower frequencies. Microwave is a little bit higher frequency, then go to the IR and then visible ultraviolet, X ray, and gamma rays. I want you to pay attention on the visible region. Visible region is only a small region in the electromagnetic spectrum. And you see the visible uh, region has uh, lights like red, orange, yellow, green. Uh, blue, indigo, and violet. From the this uh, visible light, um, the in the colors of the visible light, you see the red color has highest wavelength, lower frequency. A purple color has uh, lower wavelength, but highest frequency. In this electromagnetic spectrum i can ask i'm not i'm going to ask you need to know the order of the waves like you need to know the radio waves is the highest wave, wave waves with the highest wavelength but gamma rays is the wavelength with the highest frequency microwave has a higher energy than radio waves then infrared so you need to know basically the order you also need to know the colors of the visible light how to arrange them in increasing frequency in other words increasing energy and then um, we go to the atom so this is a very important the Bohr, Bohr model this the, the small dot shows the nucleus each circle we call orbits orbits are electrons around the nucleus how they circle around the nucleus how they rotate around the nucleus the electron can find in the circular parts around the nucleus we call orbits orbitals so you see this is um, let me make it a little bit bigger uh, so you see um, n equals 1 n equals 2 n equals 3 4 like that so what is n? We call n is a principal quantum number. Principal quantum number denotes the energy of each orbital. 
uh, I have made a separate video on quantum numbers. I want you to watch that video. So this principal quantum number, so that means a principal shell. So that is n. And then I want you to look at another thing. When you go away from the nucleus, O n increases, energy of the each orbital increases. And what happened to the energy gap? Energy gap decreases. Energy of the each orbital increases, but energy gap decreases. I have this um, sample problem. According to the um, according to the Bohr model, indicate which of the following electron transition would be expected to emit the visible light. So, what is the emission? Emission means releasing energy. Um, and then, um, so I want you to show something here. So now I'm drawing a picture so you can see. So this is the nucleus, okay? This is the nucleus. And then around the nucleus, like circles, okay? So you can write other, I can draw this one. I can draw like one, two, three, like that. The same thing I'm drawing. So I mean n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, like that. So electron getting the energy, so this is electron. Electron in the n equal 1 state get the energy, go to the higher energy states. It, in order to go to the, from the lower energy state to the higher energy state, you need to provide energy to the electron. So we call energy absorption. So you have to in, it, it, it need to absorb energy. So electron, when you go to the high energy states, high energy states are very unstable. So it need to release the energy and we the electron release the energy and come to the lower energy states. We call this is relaxation. This is relaxation, relaxation. This is called excitation. Excitation. This is relaxation and excitation absorb energy. Relaxation emit energy. This is important. Emission yeah, emit and um, absorb. When it excitation, it absorb. Relaxation, it emit energy. And then, um, so now with that, keeping that in mind, so you see, N7 to N4. So when it comes from high energy shell to the low energy shell, it is exactly, it is emitting. But N2 to 3, it absorbs. So this is as emit, emit visible light. So emission always should go from higher to lower. And then 5 to 2 is in emission. 6 to 1 is emission. 4 to 2 emission. And then they ask the visible. What is the visible light? When it comes to the visible light, it should come to the, we call, um, a Balmer series. Balmer series, in order to see the colors in the visible light, they all stop at N equals 2 level. So now, we're going to see what are the emissions that stop at 2 level. Of course, not 7 to 4, because it's, it's emission, but it's not come to the second energy shell. And then 5 to 2, yes, we can take 5 to 2 because it's come to the second level. Um, 4 to 2, yes, it come to the second level. But when you think about a 7, uh, it's a little bit higher for the um, emission shell. So it says, to emit energy, an electron transition must be from higher value to the lower value. Now for the emission to be the visible light, the transmission must have final N value equals to initial value 3, 4, 5, 6. You may, now I hope you understand what is the emission, what is the abs absorption. Emission, higher energy shell to the lower energy shell. And this is a new thing we are learning today. In order to see the visible light, the final shell should be N equals two level. That's a new thing you're learning. It doesn't. You don't have. You need to. You doesn't have to know it from before. And then it, the the initial shell. It can be three, four, five, six. Okay. So that's how you answer to this 
question. And then um, we're going to go to the um, quantum mechanical model of the atom. So we learn about, okay, the electron has the orbits around the nucleus. And then we know about the uh, principal uh, shell. Principal shell is N. N can be 1, 2, 3, 4. And then this each principal shell divide into subshells. There are four subshells in an atom. It can be S, P, D, F. What are the subshells of an atom? S, P, D, F. And there's a particular shape for this S, P, D, F. S is a spherical shape. P is a dumbbell shape. D is a like a four balloons tied in a knot. F is a little complicated, but it's, so so I, I may not ask what is the shape of a four beetle, but I may ask what is the shape of a so beetle. That is very cool. And uh, so these are the subshells. Again, I'm telling you, I have given this detailed video on quantum numbers. Please watch that as well. So this uh, one shows nicely. How? So the principal quantum number one, that means the energy shell closest to the nucleus, has only one subshell, which is when you have one subshell, it's only S. When you go to the second shell, you have two subshells, which is S and P. Third one, you have S and P and D. Fourth one, S, P, D, F. So you may, want, you may wonder what is S equals one, let me show you the shape. S is a spherical. Think about a ball. Ball in any arrangement, it is like it's you can you cannot have like if it is a like very uniform ball, whichever the arrangement, it's just a ball, right? In the X plane, if you can leave it in the X like a horizontal axis, it's a ball, like the same shape. So if we call we have only one S orbital, you cannot differentiate. Think about why p orbital. p orbital is a dumbbell shape or else we can simplify it like a two balloons tied in a knot. If you leave it in the horizontally, it is one particular shape. If you leave it in the vertically, it's a one particular shape, like not a particular shape, one orientation. And z plane, it's another orientation. Because of that, we call p subshell has three different arrangements. So we call Three P's. Three P's. We have three P subshells. Similarly, D has five arrangements. F has seven arrangements. I have this in my video, but I'm going to show a little bit. Um, so here, okay. So um, now, this is my nucleus, okay? And around the nucleus, I have n equals 1. n equals 1. You have only one subshell, which is 1s. I go to the n equals 2. I have two subshells, s and a p. s, you have only one s. p, again, px, py, pz. n equals 3. You have S, P, and a D. So one is P, X, P, Y, P, Z. D, so like that you have different um, arrangements. So each, uh, so N equals 1, you have only 1 S. N equals 2, you have like this. N equals 3, you have 3 subshells. And then you go to the, um, it's the same thing, okay? One, the first, uh, the principal energy level one, you have only one S. You go to the principal energy level two, you have two subshells, S and a P. Because it's a second principal shell, we call it a 2S and a 2P. You go to the third shell, you have three subshells. Uh, so we call 3s, 
3P and 3D, you go to the fourth shell, 4S, 4P and 4D. And I have a sample problem. Um, the consider each of the following sublevel designations, determine if each is a legitimate designation and if not, explain why. 1P. Is it possible 1P? 1 has only one subshell which is 1S. There is no 1P. So it's not legitimate. 2S. Here you have 2S and 2P. That is correct. 3F. No 3F. 3 S, P, D only. 3S, 3P, 3D. 4P, yes, that is legitimate. So, with, uh, so that's how you um, say it's legitimate or not. This is the end of part one of the video.